Now we are discussing about adhesives. In that adhesives, we are discussing about emulsification. Emulsification is the process of dispersing, dispersing, dispersing two or more immiscible, uh, immiscible liquids together to form a semi semi-stable mixture. In food applications, these two liquids generally consist of an organic phase and aqueous phase that is water phase and organic phase means oil phase that is uh, stabilized by the addition of a food grade emulsifier. Next point is what is uh, emulsification and examples. The process of uh, dispersing one immiscible liquid into another immiscible liquid is called emulsification. Some common emulsifying uh, agents are detergents and soaps etc. This process is widely carried out in industries by mechanical mix mixing of the ingredients of the emulsion in different types of uh, mixtures. Next point is uh, what is emuls emulsification in a digestive system? Emulsification is a process in which large lipid globules are, no, are broken down into several small lipid globules. The small, these small globules are widely dis distributed in the chime rather than uh, forming large ag aggregates. And next point is uh, what is emulsification in the human body? Fat emulsification is the process of increasing the surface area of fats in the small intestine by grouping them into small clusters. This is the responsibility of bile, a liquid created by the liver and stored in the gallbladder. Actual digestion of the fats is then, is then accomplished by lipase, an enzyme form enzyme from the pancreas. Next point is how is emulsification done? An emulsion can be defined as a mixture of oily and watery liquids. To make an emulsion, you need an emulsifier and force such as whisking and beating to break the oil droplets apart so they mix with the watery liquids. Our next point is what is called emulsification. Emulsification is defined as a process of dispersing one liquid in a second immiscible liquid by applying electrostatic or hydrophobic or hydrogen bonding interactions between the bioactive compounds and can and an encapsulation material. Our next point is what are the three types of emulsification? There are three kinds of emulsions, temporary, semi-permanent or permanent and permanent. An example of temporary emulsion is a simple vini, vini gritti while uh, mayonnaise is a permanent emulsion. An emulsion can be hot or cold and take on any flavor from sweet to sour. It can be smooth or have a bit of a texture. Our next point is what is emulsification in biology? Explanation. It is the breakdown of large fat molecules into small fat droplets that are water soluble. Emulsification of fat occurs in the pancreas. Pancreatic lipase acts on the lipid molecules, emulsifies them and forms fatty acids and glycerols. And next point is, uh, what is the main function of emulsification? Emulsification is a process of breaking down fat into smaller globules so that uh, digestive enzymes can function and digest the food more easily. Next point is, what causes emulsification? How emulsions, emulsions are formed? Emulsions are formed by agitating, agitation to Immiscible liquids such as oil and water together with the presence of an emulsifier which can be for example of protein, phos phospholipid or even uh, nano uh, particle. Next point is what are the types of uh, emulsion. There are two basic types of emulsions, oil in water 
and water in oil. These emulsions are exactly next next significance is what are the types of emulsions? There are two basic types of emulsions: oil in water and water in oil. These emulsions are exactly what they sound like. A pictured below. In every emulsion, there is a continuous phase that uh, suspends uh, the droplets of the other emulsion element, which is called the dispersed uh, phase. The next point is what is uh, principle of emulsion? In fact, emulsions are in uh, principle made out of two immiscible phases for which the surface tension is non-zero and may in participate in principle. Involve other hydraulic uh, like uh, lipophilic uh, like fluids in the presence of uh, suitable surface active species, and each phase being possibly comprised of uh, numerous components. The next point is what kind of process is uh, emulsification? Emulsifying is the process step of mixing two or more normally unmixable or unblendable liquid phases in. An overall product system or formulation. The process of emulsification is widely used in industrial applications involving uh, chemical processing, liquid uh, pharmaceutical products, and food and uh, beverage processing. Next point is uh, what is emulsification pros, uh, properties? The emulsifying property is measured by the emulsifying activity, activity index. And emulsifying uh, stability index (EAI) is a measure of the amount of oil that can be emulsified per uh, unit protein, and the ESI measures the resistance of the emulsion over a specific time. And next point is uh, what is the emulsification of uh, fats? What kind of process is emulsification? And the next point is what is the emulsification properties? The emulsifying properties is measured by the emulsifying activity index and the emulsifying stability index. EAI is a measure of the amount of oil that can be emulsified per unit protein, and the ESI measures the resistance of the emulsion over a specific time. And next point is what is the emulsification of fats? It is the process of breaking down the complex uh, for molecules converted into smaller fat molecules by the bile salts secreted by secreted by the liver that will be easier to digest with the help of uh, enzymes. What enzymes are used in emulsification? This process is called emulsification. The emulsified fat is digested by using the enzyme lipase. Next point is which enzyme is responsible for emulsification? Bile salts help in emulsification of fats, that is, breaking down of the large fat droplets into very small micelles. Bile also activates lipase enzymes, which which digests the fats. And next point is what is the principle of emulsification test? The emulsion emulsion test is a method of method to determine the next point is. What is the principle of emulsification test? The emulsion emulsion test is a method to determine the presence of liquids liquids using the chemistry. The procedure is for the sample to be suspended in most ethanol, allowing the liquids present to dissolve. The liquid liquid is then decanted into water. This is the information. Regarding the emulsification, wishing you all the best.